All right, so what I have going on here is I have my last hydrogen generator, version four, I think, and then I installed a direct current outlet and switch to this, to because I, I wanted to be able to run you know, other hydrogen generators off of it and uh, motors or whatever. So I ran DC through this with a switch, uh, and I have that hooked up to the hydrogen generator. This one, this hydrogen generator puts the gas out mix, this one keeps them separate. So I have this one hooked up to the battery in this one. All right, and uh, there's a 7.5 amp fuse right here. I'll probably blow that, um, but if I do, I'll just snip it off and uh, use a wire nut to reconnect that. I'm gonna add the sodium hydroxide into this uh, in increments, and uh, when I get to a point, this helps the water conduct electricity. And when I get to the point where the water is conducting enough electricity um, that it produces a lot of bubbles, but not too much electricity, that it gets hot fast, um, that's, when I'll, that's when I'm right in the sweet spot. All right, we've got the batteries all charged up, and uh, let's see how much current it's pushing through now. So if I hook these up here. So we're doing five amps now, 24 volts, as opposed to, I think, two or three when the batteries weren't fully charged. And this makes the gas um, not really fast, in fact, I think I can make it a lot faster. If I got more sodium hydroxide in here, it would uh, let a lot more current through. But the, what it is, what's it, what it's at now is perfectly fine for me. So right about five amps is going through this. And uh, I'm not sure, but I, I heard that as these heat up, they let more current through. I'm not sure if that's correct. But uh, I don't know, certainly something to consider. So these are wired. These, the battery, this battery right here and this battery in here is wired in series. Uh, that's to give it 24 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the switch over here and I'm going to put my fingers on this so it builds up pressure with the hydrogen and oxygen. And I'm going to light a stick, this stick. I'm going to light this stick on fire and I'm gonna let it go out and then I'm gonna let that go and since this is oxygen coming out of here it should um, relight the stick so um, let's see here I'm gonna light this alright got some coals going yeah there we go you see it reignited the the stick, it's now burning. Let's see if we can try that again. Yeah, <laughs> that is a really bright flash. About to let it build up a bit more pressure this time. Alright, here we go. You can see it's not on fire. And it just relights that stick. That's incredible. Oh, there it went out. The uh, thing to know here is that a bit more hydrogen is produced than the oxygen. So, say if I put two balloons, one on each side, um, there won't be as much pressure building up on the oxygen side as the hydrogen side. And the pressure will push the water up around and out through this and out the tube and into the balloon. Um, so I won't, I can't, that's why I can't do that. Uh, what would be best is if I had, I think I've heard of, um, 
screens almost, like filters that filter out the hydrogen from the oxygen, that would be ideal. Here. Yep, that's hydrogen all right. And uh, the reason I'm not worried about a flashback into here is because there's no oxygen in here. It's just hydrogen in this coming out of here. So it only can burn once it gets out into the open air. All right. Yep. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. This hydrogen generator, the gas it produces, uh, you have to worry about flyback because the gas is mixed and it can burn all the way back into the generator because there's oxygen back there and the hydrogen can burn here. Let me try this here. Yeah, that's loud. Whew. That burns hot too. Not as hot as oxyacetylene, but it's, it burns pretty close. See what the oxygen does to this flame. Not much. Yeah, it almost blows it out. Let's try the hydrogen again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. This connector's down here is smoking. Oh, it's hot. I guess this connector isn't rated for five amps. Actually, I wonder if it will uh, conduct more electricity now because the hydrogen generator has warmed up a, a little bit. So, I'll quick test it here. Alright, let's see how much amperage we're pushing through now. Woohoo! Alright, it got, it showed 18 amps. So I guess it is, uh, it seems to me that uh, this, this is warm. As it warms up, it seems to, uh, yeah, actually I might have blown the fuse on my multimeter there. So it's only rated for 10 amps. Yeah, I bet I blew the multimeter there. <laughs> oh well. Yep, that's toasted. I mean, the amperage is. Uh, this should still work. Yep, still reads voltage fine. <laughs> but uh, there's a 10 amp fuse in there. So. Anyway, that's why it melted this connector. In fact, all this wire is really hot because there's 20 amps going through there. And this, this wire is just warm. This one's pretty hot. And this connector is boiling. <laughs> almost. Almost too hot to touch. Okay, so I'm going to call this the end of the video. Uh, I am very happy with this thing. It produces the hydrogen gas and oxygen gas at a, a decent rate for its size. I could definitely uh, put more, put more um, sodium hydroxide in here and you know boost it up to... 40 amps if I wanted to and it would produce a ton of it but get really hot really fast so anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned I have a lot of stuff coming up super exciting subscribe if you don't mind really help me out let me know that people are watching these videos and want to see more of them if you have ideas or recommendations about future videos don't hesitate to leave a comment and uh, I'll see you next time